In this lesson, we're gonna be going over a voice over IP call to demonstrate streaming audio using UDP. We get kind of a bonus here because in this case, SIP is the session initiation protocol, and it's actually the signaling protocol that establishes the parameters for the call so we can get to a point where we can send streaming audio and both sides are using the same codecs and the same compression methods and all of the same audio parameters. So when I send some audio to the other end, it can actually do the decoding and turn that digital audio back into analog audio that your ear can hear. In this case, we've got a SIP message and it's actually using UDP as well. SIP is capable of using both TCP and UDP. In this case, we are using UDP as the transport layer protocol for the session initiation protocol. So not only are we going to be transferring audio over UDP, but we're also doing the signaling over UDP as well. Without getting into a great deal of detail about how SIP works, this is actually a call setup. An invite gets sent from the caller to the callee, and then we've got some interim status messages. So you've got a trying message that goes back and says, yep, I'm trying to ring your party. And then you get a ringing message. Then there is a whole lot of other stuff in this packet capture here. So let's actually do a filter on SIP. We've got a 100 ringing, and then you've got 200 OK, which means something picked up. You can see that the session is actually being established here. Now let's do a filter on RTP because RTP is the real-time protocol. That's where the actual audio would happen. Again, with RTP, which is streaming audio, what we want is we want the messages to be sent really quickly without having a lot of overhead. So again, we've got UDP here and we've got a source port and a destination port, and that's really all there is. So the real-time transport protocol actually handles some of the other information around making sure that we are talking to the right party. There's a synchronization source identifier and a sequence number. And of course, we've got the payload type. If we were using the wrong kind of codec, for example, the other end wouldn't be able to decode it. Why again do we use UDP here? because I don't really care about doing a session establishment. I don't need to do a connection because really SIP is handling that for me. My signaling protocol is handling my session establishment for me, so I don't need the three-way handshake of a connection establishment. I also don't want to worry about retransmits and waiting for the messages to get in the right order because otherwise I end up with delays and choppiness in the audio stream. What's going to happen is if I am missing audio, we're just going to drop those packets and there's something on the order of like 15 milliseconds. So if we drop a couple of packets there, your ear's really not going to hear it. You can see the messages going back and forth from the source to the destination. All of the information here about the codec that we're using and the type of audio. And you've got the sequence number and the time here. That helps us make sure that we are getting messages from the right place. So again, we don't need UDP to handle that for us because the protocol it sits on top of UDP is doing the sequencing and making sure that we're getting information from the right place and that it's coming in in the right sequence. If we get a sequence number that happens to be out of order, we're just going to drop it and we're not going to try to play that. But the overhead protocol, the RTP, is actually doing the work that TCP might otherwise do for us. So we don't need the overhead of TCP to handle that because the application is doing it through all of the parameters in the real-time transport protocol. In cases where your application is doing a lot of the overhead work that TCP might otherwise provide for you, you don't really need TCP, particularly if what you're looking for is real-time communication and something fast, and we don't want to worry about waiting for packets to get in so that we can reorder them and play them back in the right place. What we want is to make sure that we play messages that arrive as soon as they arrive. So if you've got an application that's handling all of that overhead for you, you really don't need TCP. 
And that's certainly what's going on here where we're using RTP and we don't need TCP for it. We would use UDP in that case.